Greg Lake, legendary pioneering prog rocker, is dead. He was 69. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. What the heck is going on this year? Just as his classic solo hit, I Believe in Father Christmas, is starting to be added to radio stations all over the world, we get this sad news. His manager, Stuart Young, said yesterday, the 7th of December, I lost my best friend to a long and stubborn battle with cancer. Greg Lake will stay in my heart forever, as he has always been. His family would be grateful for privacy during this time of their grief. Greg Lake was part of progressive rock royalty. He was a founding member of two huge bands in the genre. First, King Crimson. Robert Fripp picked him to be the lead singer and bass player for the band, even though up to that point he'd played six string most of his life. Lake was on their first two albums, the classic In the Court of the Crimson King in 1969 and 1970s In the Wake of Poseidon. Everything changed when Lake and King Crimson were touring with the band The Nice, which featured another pioneering genius in prog rock, Keith Emerson, who, by the way, we lost as well in March of this year. He was 71. The pair soon discovered how much they had in common. And by 1970, with the help of Carl Palmer, they formed Emerson, Lake & Palmer. ELP were the quintessential progressive symphonic art rock band. And they had huge success from their self-titled debut in 1970. Prog fans were pleasantly surprised at their ability to reinvent classical pieces. The very first song on their very first album, the Bartok-inspired The Barbarian, named after Bartok's Allegro Barbaro, was an incredible masterpiece. Gordon Fletcher of Rolling Stone magazine talked about one of my favorite albums from ELP, Brain Salad Surgery. He said the real meat on the platter is Carnival 9. It's another tour de force from ELP. Lake called the tune Lucky Man a medieval fantasy. He actually wrote the song when he was only 12 after his mother bought him a guitar. In 1975 there was of course that big solo song, I Believe in Father Christmas. It reached number two on the charts. In reality it's an anti-commercial tune about the exploitation of the holiday season. Emerson, Lake & Palmer broke up in 1979, but there was a new version coming out shortly after that. He formed the new ELP in the mid-80s, Emerson, Lake & Powell, with Cozy Powell on drums replacing Palmer. But then the original ELP got back together in 1991 and a few times after that off and on. The band, yes, tweeted, very sad to hear of the passing of our friend, legendary Greg Lake. Former Genesis guitarist Steve Hackett wrote, music bows its head to acknowledge the passing of a great musician and singer, Greg Lake. And then Rick Wakeman, formerly of Yes and currently of ARW wrote, another sad loss with the passing of Greg Lake. You left some great music with us, my friend, and so like Keith, you will live on. When we lost Keith Emerson, we went on Facebook and asked all the diehard Emerson, Lake & Palmer fans to rate their 10 top songs from the band. And we came up with the top 10 Emerson, Lake & Palmer tunes. We're gonna have a link to that finished video with all the results uh, at the end of this video and also in the description of this video as well. Greg Lake, may you rest in peace. Man, this year has been nuts, hasn't it? Make sure you comment on our videos and subscribe to our channel, and we'll also check out your videos and uh, share our videos. We'd appreciate that. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music.